Well, it's a very central problem, Mark. I think uh, you know, we all know this is one of the most unequal economies in the world. We have a fundamental job creation problem, not only amongst adults, but especially amongst youth. So it is a national priority. But I think government is paying a lot of attention to, to education now. But I would like to see a much higher ratcheting up of performance requirements, measurements, indicators, and more interventions in the schools that are not performing. Uh, we, have, we have teachers not delivering, which is not acceptable. And we have a curriculum whose outcomes are very worrying. When I travel around the world looking at emerging economies and I see the capacities of young people coming through schooling systems, compared to us it is in other emerging economies quite a scary comparison. So there's got to be a focus on maths and science education, which I know there is. Very important. South Africa is a very unusual economy because we've produced so many global champions over the years. Companies that have gone out into the global economy and done well. They were started by individuals 20, 30 years ago and they've been incredibly successful. We need more of those and we need a generation who will do that. Our MBA in entrepreneurship is aimed at corporate executives who want to make their own way. And what we do is give them the opportunity to incubate a business plan and develop a business with the managerial, accounting, financial skills they need to raise the capital and launch the business. So it's not aimed at micro-entrepreneurs, it's aimed at people who are going to start something of substance. I think South Africa is fortunate to have good business schools. There are very few countries of our size with as many internationally accredited schools as South Africa. Uh, it's important we make our main contribution through the quality of education, both the academic side and, and the executive education we offer to companies and individuals. That's our main impact. But we also take part in a number of forums. We host forums at the school. We run conferences. We run dialogues to try and move the debate along about the kind of choices that we're talking about. South Africa has to rethink and look in the mirror about competitiveness. We've got to have that as the goal. In order to create growth, you have to have a mindset of competitiveness. And, and we think we play a small part in, in contributing to that. For example, we have a program for high school kids and learners, grades 11s and 12s in Gauteng, uh, who come here for 10 uh, weekends. And they're from all kinds of schools in this, in, in this region. And we can see a marked change in their thinking through the course of the program. That's the kind of contribution we can make. Well, I think communicating these complex things is always difficult for government, as it is for any organisation. I think the relationship between business and government has improved in, in recent times. There is a lot of discussion going on, and these two new initiatives that are very important to our economic future are underway, and hopefully constructive ideas will come from that. But we need to be inspired, and what we've been discussing is, you know, how do you engage in an active way with South Africa across all sectors, in civil society, with the unions, with the private sector, and with people in the state. You know, if people in the state really understood how critical their performance is uh, to economic development, officials at the mid-level, at the front line, they make an enormous difference in people's lives, from home affairs to SARS, and they're two interesting examples. It's vital that our civil service understands the, its role in us being competitive, being quicker, having enabling legislation, having the right kind of regulation.